Hi Aries, I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights and this is your love focus, okay? So this is your extended mini love reading for the month of April 2020. Happy birthday to all of my April Aries out there. You guys are super amazing, okay? While the sun is still in your sign, Venus is going to enter Gemini the first week of April. Then we're going to have the full moon in Libra. Um, around the 7th or 8th, give or take a day, right? And then we're going to have the sun going to Taurus, and then we're going to have the Taurus new moon. So, yeah, the month of April is all about fresh starts, okay? New beginnings. So, without further ado, I present to you your love energy, okay, guys? Let's see what's going on with you. Oh, okay, so it seems like some of you are really going through this phase of feeling phase of really feeling really um deeply hurt or maybe even potentially sad about something that you were dealing with in the month of march or even february okay there has been some things that kind of really caused you a lot of grief or maybe had you really feeling like you know i don't even know why i invested all of this time all of this energy but something has to end okay so that is where your focus is is Ending something and really saying, no, I'm ready for something new. I'm so ready for a new beginning. I can no longer do this, you know. So, there can even possibly be some type of separation, okay, um, or some type of breakup, or even conversations about a breakup or separation, okay. And as hurtful as it is, I feel like you see the blessing in it all. Like, you see what needs to change, you know that something needs to happen because this is not working, right? Like, yeah, something needs to happen. So let's move forward. Let's see why this even came out in the first place, okay? Karmic relationship. So this is definitely a karmic relationship for some of you. A lot of times people come into our lives to literally just teach us something, you know, or to show us a reflection of ourselves and how we're behaving and how we're acting you know are we being responsible are we being respectful are we honoring each other you know so when people like that come along and they're teaching you things and showing you things whether it's painful or if it's happy memories okay people come along for all different type of reasons and for you Aries for a great hand of you this is one of those situations this is a karmic relationship where it's like you try to make it work, you try to make it work, you try to make it work. No matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, it just can't quite come together, you know? And even in the month of January and February, I talked to you about this, about this. I don't know what it is it about you that I just can't seem to shake. It's something about you, you know? And for some of you, it's like you have your heart beats for something else or something better. And it's like a lot of you feel like your your love and attention is somewhere else, but it's like for some reason, for some reason, you just can't seem to shake this this energy over here. <laughs> like you want to, then everything inside of you is saying let it go, you know. But then deep down inside, it's saying, but what about that person over there, you know? Or what if? I feel like there's a big what if. What if I did actually leave you? I wonder what would happen. I wonder what would happen to me. I wonder if I'll still be the same strong individual that I have been. I wonder if I can still be successful. I wonder if, you know, other people will still be attracted to me. What if, you know, what if? Because I'm at the point in my life where I'm like, I'm finding myself, you know, and because I'm finding myself, I can no longer tolerate any more distractions. And yes, I love you, but you are a huge distraction to my life, okay? So that is the energy that a lot of you guys are dealing with this season, okay? A karmic relationship, feeling, I mean, fleeting, triggers, um, resentment, okay? Letting go and loving you. Again, that attention is more of so, yes, I love you, but... It's like, it's, it's just not happening. Like, I got to focus on my well-being. And being with you stresses me the fuck out. Then there's, and you know, it's like you want to shake that energy, but for some reason you can't. This is one of the situations where you're going to have to really, really pray a lot and meditate a lot. Be with people who really uplift you, make you laugh, make you proud, make you smile. Really, really bring you to your senses and really help you to be grounded. People who remind you of why you are so inspired. People who uplift you or correct you when you're wrong, but they're not trying to hurt you or embarrass you. Like that type of situation. You need to surround yourself around people or individuals that are 
more open to your success. People that really genuinely just want you to be happy. You know, people that's going to support you. Even if you and this other person don't work out, it was only meant to be for that particular situation and that particular time. It probably was not meant to be for you guys to be together always or forever. So even though you're like, wow, I really like this person. Wow, I really had deep feelings for this individual. What's going on? It's just not working, you know? And it's not saying that you guys can't come back together, but it's saying right now in the moment where my life is going, I need to be extra, extra focused on my goals and things that really matter to me, okay? Because like I said, Aries, you're marching into this new you, a new lifestyle, new marriage, new relationship, a new home, a new car. Some of you are really trying to do some big, major things in your life. And you can't do that when you are consistently having people in your life that are trying to bring you down or speak against you or say really harsh things towards you. You can't survive that way, my love. So you got to let it go, okay? Let's move on to the next part. Wow, ooh, oh, I forgot who got this. Oh God, please help me remember. I think this was Libra's energy. So this is interesting, the hammer card. If I can remember properly, this is Libra's energy. Okay, Libra is your opposite sign. So it's so interesting that you guys got this same exact card here, okay? Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive. Like I said, I feel like you guys are constantly trying to work on it and work on it and work on it. It's kind of like this this card here reminds me of like in a traditional tarot deck, there's this card called the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. And that's what it reminds me of. Or well, even the Seven of Pentacles. It's like you're working at it and working at it and working at it. And it's like it seems like you're never getting nowhere, but you're consistently working at it, you know. And that's what hammering does. You know, you're like, nope, I gotta get this through. I gotta get this through to you. You know, why don't you love me? Why don't you show me? Why are you disrespecting me? You know, it's a lot of that that repetitive energy repeating cycles okay people saying oh i'm sorry baby i won't do it no more and they just keep doing it people that just keep lying and saying yo i won't lie to you but they just keep lying to you you know it's that type of energy and it hurts and it sucks but guess what this is not a self-pity party this is more of so like you know what i'm good you you can have that and so much more like but just don't touch me you know just don't come back in my world. If that's what you want, stay over there, okay? But you're not going to keep coming into my life, you know, make me happy and then make me sad. Make me depressed but then exciting me at the same time. Like, no, this is not a roller coaster. Like, you don't get permission to just keep taking me on your emotional roller coaster over and over and over again. For years at a time, I'm fed up and I'm through with it. And I feel like a lot of you are really calling it the end. Quit. Okay? Some of you, you're going to think long and hard about why you want this to end. Okay? But I feel like something is going to come along and really surprise you and show you just the reasons why you either need to hold on or separate. Okay? Just wait for that information because Spirit is going to show you something really profound this season. Let's move on to the next one. Healthy choices. Wow. This is amazing, guys. So, making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Pisces got the same energy as well. Okay, guys? So, yeah, like I said, it's all about that get back. Okay? Stella got her groove back. Yes, indeed. I'm going to type in your video that. <laughs> I got my groove back. Okay? Absolutely. And I'm not trying to disrespect you or hurt you or cause you any harm, but I see that you clearly really ain't for me because you don't support me, you don't shout me out, you don't show me no love, you you scared to show me about. Yeah, I ain't got time for that. You know how many people out here want me? Ugh, and this is not a cocky moment. This is just simply letting it be. Like, you're letting this person have it in a really good, tense way, and they may not like it. <laughs> they may not like, you know, um the way that you're approaching them but i feel like you don't even care okay let's see what your soul is yearning for what spirit would like to share with your soul during this time during this season and let's see if there's anything possibly that you can learn from the situation okay let's see what spirit has for your soul and your soul lesson or what your soul is yearning for guys let's see what's going on with you but if you look closely at this card guys Okay, she looks like she's taking it all back, like, right? Like, she has this basket full of stuff, and 
That's her stuff. That self-care, that self-love, that honesty, being true to me. That's my stuff. You can't have my stuff, okay? She's holding on really tight to this, and she's, she's caring for it. She's like, no, this is my stuff. This is me. This is my personality. This is my happiness. You don't get to come in and take my stuff. You don't get to come in and dominate and, 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 and get to mistreat me any longer. Like, this is my stuff, okay? And I have to protect it. I was in charge. I'm in charge of me. Not you. I'm in charge of me, okay? Absolutely. What a powerful message, Aries. What a powerful message. All right, so let's see what else is going on with you. Indecision. So, like I said, a lot of you will be faced with a lot of time to really sit here and think about like wow what do i want to do is this the right decision like i said healthy choices couldn't come clarify this anymore okay making healthy choices yes i love you yes the kids love you but is this the right choice am i making the right decision because from what i know out of everything we've been through nothing has changed you've been this way for years and this i don't see any type of progress or any type of growth this shit turns me off. Yes, I love you and I don't wish you bad, but I can't be with you anymore. You know, and I, I'm so proud of you, Aries, for actually healing that part of you and standing up for yourself. I feel like a lot of you earned the right to finally put your foot down and say, listen, I'm done. This is not going to continue to happen. So I'm super proud of you for taking a stand and letting it be known that I don't I, I know I, I hear you I know you said you love me but are you showing me I know you said that you will always be there and protect me but are you doing that I know you said you will always provide but are you even working what are you doing like what are you doing with yourself because see I'm trying to go with hair like up 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 to the sky and you're like trying to bring me down okay no more of that sabotaging for yourself. No more. If they want to sabotage their life, that's fine. But what you won't do is try to sabotage me. That's not what's going to happen, okay? I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Absolutely. I'm going to allow spirit to guide me, to show me the route that I need to go. I'm not, like I said, well, guys, what did I say previously, right? Spirit is going to show you exactly what you need to do the reason you need to stay or the reason you need to go and for each and every last one of you this message is going to play out differently i guarantee you by april 23rd 24th give or take a day you're going to see a dramatic shift in your world especially in your love life when it comes to this particular situation or this person for those of you that are single this can be an ex-lover that keeps bugging you and calling you and trying to get you to take them back no the answer is no nope sorry been there done that you're whack i need something better that's it don't keep falling victim to their circumstance because they're going through something they want you to come back in their life and be their savior and help them get through that trying time no 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 no, no. okay if god can't fix you then neither can i <laughs> that's it simple bye like i'm washing my hands with this situation i'm claiming my path because i want something greater that is how it's going to be this season for you aries Mm. Aries, I love you, and I thank you so much for tuning in. I thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my page. I would love to have you guys as one of my subscribers. Guys, I'm so excited to see next season for you because I feel like Air, um, Fire Signs is going to have a really amazing year, okay? And I think that this is the start of something amazing, okay? I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.